What's up YouTube, Seth here on Super Seth TV. Now 2014 is coming to an end and it's been an absolutely great year for smartphones. We've had probably the most smartphones released of any year so far and that's great because we've got a lot of variety but uh, that also means the decision of buying a smartphone becomes that much more difficult because there's so many different options out there to choose from so what are the top five smartphones of this year well i thought i'd do something a little bit different rather than just picking my top five like a lot of other youtubers would be doing we'll be doing it super saf tv style and what i did earlier on this week is i did a post on facebook twitter instagram and google plus asking you guys what you think the best smartphone of 2014 is. Now we had hundreds of replies, so thank you for everyone who casted a vote. And what I've done is I've spent practically all morning counting all of those up and putting them together to see which five devices come out on top. So a thumbs up for that would be appreciated because it took a lot of time and effort. And this way, there is no bias from myself or anybody else. It is gonna be what's voted for by you guys, the audience, and we We've got a, a good sample here, so it should give us a good idea in terms of what most people think are the best smartphones of 2014. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight to it. Coming in at number five with 5% 5 of your votes is the HTC One M8. Now, I've said this before, but this is definitely the best looking device and the most premium device of 2014. It looks absolutely great, and you have to give it up to the HTC design team who have done a, a great job with this device. That along with those boom sound speakers, which are still the best speakers on any smartphone out there right now, make this a, a great option for a lot of people. I think one of the downsides, and this is a downside that a lot of people have been talking about, is that four megapixel rear facing camera. Now, although these megapixels are ultra pixels, and are great in low light, they still do not match up to some of the other competition out there, generally speaking, in terms of most shots when it comes to detail. Now, the next HTC One, which is probably gonna be called the M9 or something else, is rumored to have a more traditional rear-facing camera like the competition, so this will hopefully bring it a little bit higher in terms of next year's charts, but right now, it does come in at number five. Now, coming in at number four with 6% of your vote, uh, might be a little bit surprising for a few of you out there is the Samsung Galaxy S5 now the S series has been very very popular the S5 hasn't been as popular as some of the previous models such as the S4 and the S3 but it is still a very very safe option for a, a lot of people out there and that's because you've got a great screen expandable storage as well as a removable battery which lasts a, a long time it's water and dust resistant this time around as well you've got a great rear-facing camera capable of filming 4k so there is a, a lot of things to like about this device now one of the areas which i think really was the downside of the s5 was the build they didn't go for a premium build yes it was an improvement to the s4 but we still didn't have any metal and it was still a full plastic build and i think that did put a lot of people off but the s6 is likely to have a premium build so this is something that we can look forward to in the new year now number three is interesting because we've got a joint number three with eight percent of your votes firstly is the sony xperia z3 now this is a great smartphone overall sony makes some amazing smartphones you've got a premium build here a 20.7 megapixel rear facing camera great battery life it's also water and uh, dust resistance and you've also got a remote play now so you can use this with your PS4 and play games remotely from your PS4 onto your smartphone so it does appeal to a lot of gamers out there. All of these points make it a really nice option for a lot of people and this brings it in at number three. Now also joint at number three is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now Apple finally gave it in to pressure and gave us some larger smartphones this year and also a very large iPhone 6 Plus which has a 5.5 inch display, 1080p. You've got optical image stabilization, a large battery which gives you all day usage and this has been been a great option for a lot of those Apple users who wanted to go to a larger smartphone and didn't have an option before because you only had the 5 and the 5s which had four inch screens now coming in at number two is the younger brother or sister of the iPhone 6 plus and that is the iPhone 6 with 11% of your votes now the iPhone 6 is a very very comfortable choice for a lot of people and a lot of people still consider this the best smartphone out there and there's a lot of reasons 
reasons for that. For me personally, I like the fact that it's a 4.7 inch display and it fits very, very nicely in the hand. It's very comfortable to use and hold in one hand, even though it does have that slightly larger screen compared to the traditional four inch screens that we've seen on the iPhone 5 and 5S. And it's also got Touch ID, which by far is the best fingerprint reading technology on any smartphone out there right now. The cameras are very, very consistent and take great shots, even though it's just at eight megapixels and 1.2 megapixels for the front facing camera. They do take some very consistent and nice shots and overall it's just a very very nice option for a lot of people out there and finally coming in at number one with a whopping a whopping 51 percent of your votes now this is personally my favorite device and i would say the best smartphone of 2014 and shall we have a drum roll it's the samsung galaxy note 4 now samsung have ticked so many boxes for a lot of people with this device firstly you've got a quad hd super amoled display which i think makes this the best display that you can get on a smartphone out there you've got a large removable battery which gives you some great usage you've got expandable storage a refacing camera capable of filming 4k with optical image stabilization and samsung have finally given us a premium build so you've got a, a metal frame as well as a soft touch back which makes it grippy so you've got sort of the best of both worlds I would say and it does have a Samsung's touch with skin on top of Android which I know a lot of people don't like and that's understandable but at this screen size touch with gives you some options which you simply don't get on other large screen smartphones such as multi window and a lot of those S Pen uh, features which make this device quite unique so the Samsung Galaxy Note series has always been the king of five tablets but it looks like 2014 it now also is the king of smartphones as voted for by you now honorable mentions do have to go out to firstly the LG G3 which was an absolutely great device the most compact device at a 5.5 inch screen the Nexus 6 which has that stock Android experience so lollipop with all of those updates coming directly from Google not having to wait around and also the OnePlus One which is the best budget smartphone phone if you can get a hold of it i mean if you could have got a hold of it without the invite system maybe it would have been higher so those were the top five smartphones well a top six if you include uh, the number three spot which was joint of 2014 as voted for by you now as i said i've done this in a voting system so you don't have any bias and that way you can really get an idea of what the top five devices are according to the public and i think this is a quite a, a nice list. Is your device on here? And do you agree with this uh, top five? Do drop me a comment below and let me know your thoughts. We're gonna have plenty of uh, new videos coming up in 2015. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV. And I'll see you next time. If you wanna see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button, which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it maybe somewhere else if you want to see my previous related video then hit the link right here if you want to stay in touch over facebook twitter and google plus then all of the addresses will be there somewhere as well as direct links in the description below okay if you're still watching then that means you've not done one of those things so you know yeah anyway um I'm just I'm just gonna go um, downstairs. See. Okay. Um. Th there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway. So yeah.